Hey guys, it's Oaks, your brother from the US. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. In this video, we're gonna go freestyle, which means anything that we're gonna find there, we're gonna talk about because it's the same old, same old recycling news. But before anything, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below, share, it's gonna take you one second, one click away, and you are all set. Thank you so much, and welcome to the family. This is <laughs> the first one. Thomas Tuchel wanted to sign Nathan Aki while he was at Borussia Dortmund and has held a bit of interest admiration for a while. Chelsea have been made aware of the fact that Ake is on the market. That is according to Matt Lou from The Telegraph. He was talking on London is Blue podcast. If you want to go and listen, you can see the link there. Promoting my brothers from London is Blue podcast. What do you think about Nathan Ake? The strange thing is... Many clubs and managers around Europe always admire Chelsea Academy or Chelsea players. But sometimes when they come to Chelsea Football Club and they don't care about the academy anymore. Nathan Ake was in the Chelsea Academy for free. We sold him and now somebody transformed him, made him in that level and we want to buy him back. Is a Chelsea thing. What do you think about Nathan Ake? Like I said, it's going to be a freestyle here. All right, people. Let's move on and find another topic to discuss because it's just uh, a lot. Look at these guys here on holiday, right? Manson Mount, Trev, and Declan Rice. Always together, brothers. Married Cobham. <laughs> Do you think the reunion is going to happen very soon? The graduate from the best academy in the world. I don't know if the price is right and Declan Rice comes back to Chelsea no problem but if the price is not right and it's gonna cost us crazy amount of money and even losing somebody like Armando Broja in exchange of Declan Rice I am not happy about it I'm sorry I like my academy product but not at any cost the price is right we're not wasting or losing other players in order to get one player remember we sold like seven or eight let's say nine quality players last season to get Romelu Lukaku and the rest is history we literally get nothing out of our world-class or potential world-class players to get the missing piece Lukaku and the rest is history I'm not gonna commit that mistake anymore my friend so let me know what do you think about Declan Rice to Chelsea Football Club. Okay, so which what uh, what is going on here? Usman Dembele, same old, same old, every single day, my friends. Usman Dembele situation. PSG not in advance, not advance interests. And player not currently an option for them because they have a new director of football who don't really trust him. Tukor told Boeli uh, he's keen on a reunion, the situation to become clear this week. I think it's gonna become more clear when his contract ends the end of the month at Barcelona because right now he's still getting paid, still getting paid by Barcelona. So I think after the 30th, we're going to learn more about Dembele. The interview or whatever he was talking to a fan, it could be just a PR 
thing, but I still hope that we can get Mr. Dembele at Chelsea Football Club. Let me know, my friends, in the description down below. What do you think about Usman Dembele? All right, more news, huh? Let's go to more news here from Simon Phillips. Armando Broja, this is what I've been talking about, my friends. Like, I am not ready to give up on Armando Broja for anybody. Okay? I don't want any swap deal with Declan Rice. Declan Rice is just one player. And we can even use Eaton Ampadu, who would do a, a good job in the midfield. Okay? So, I don't know. I already talked about it. I don't have really to say anything. Some people said loan him out or sell him with a, a buyback option, the way we did with Tammy Abram. Sell him for 40 million, buy him double in a couple of years. I don't know about that, but I think it's time for us to just trust our own young youngsters from the academy because shiny names are not really paying off at Chelsea Football Club. And I'm not going to be excited anymore, okay? If we buy Lewandowski today, Dembele, Kunde, uh, Kulibali, all the big names, I'm not going to be so excited or, you know, get ahead of myself. You know, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait, man. You prove me on the pitch, okay? Shiny names don't mean necessarily good players. We've seen it for the last years that, you know, it's always greener on paper, but when it comes to the reality, uh, it's it's different. Okay, so Xavi is pleading for Barcelona board to sign Dembele, but Dembele has a decision to make. Money could be the issue here. If you get a better contract at Chelsea Football Club, you might have to leave. Richarlison, Chelsea make richarlison inquiry sources and report on sterling laporte wow are we even interested in wow laporte from barcelona yeah that could be an option but he's been on the bench often he's been really crap for the last couple of years so i'm not sure about laporte close i'm gonna keep an open mind screen here He's moving definitely to PSG. They already made two attempts to sign him. Official, like, bid. So I don't think Skriniar is coming to Chelsea. And uh, Sterling still, still on the map because apparently Thomas Tuchel is a big, big fan of Mr. Raheem Sterling. So, like I said, it's same old, same old, same news, as you can tell people here, complaining. But close, this guy here from France, 29 years old, a little old, but if we can get something out of him, and as Piliqueta is, is living, and then I'm not going to be opposed to that, you know? But... We have also youngsters from the academy who might leave because there is no path to the first team. So it's, it's a confusing one. It's a confusing one, my people. It's very difficult. It is what it is. More news, probably. Uh, look at this. <laughs> keeping tabs, FC. Chelsea are keeping a close eye. Close eye, very close on Robert Lewandowski, who, by the way, want to go to Barcelona. But if Barcelona can't afford him, I don't see him staying at Bayern Munich because of everything that he just said about the club, about losing interest. My time is up. So he's, if Barcelona can't get him, PSG are going to jump to the occasion, the occasion and Chelsea are going to jump to the occasion. Nothing new here, my friends. As you can tell. Let's follow each other on social media. This is your brother here. 
the green turf youtube channel instagram twitter the same so <laughs> we're gonna have some more news in 10 seconds from now and uh, yeah we're just having fun thousand links zero signings is a chelsea thing